well, this is how I made my living. And now I'm teaching other guys with the skills that I had, showing them how to become world champion also. Well, I mean, it, it could become better. You know, it could become better. You, you can never be content or satisfied the way it is because there's always something new that could be done better. Well, you know, you got these strength and conditioning guys, you know, they want to become the trainer also. You know, you can have one trainer and one strength and conditioning guy, but they have to be on equal terms. One has to let them know what the other one is doing. You can't just have a strength and conditioning guy and a trainer. That don't work. They have to be on the same page. Well, you know, listen, I, I lived a, a Spartan life. All I wanted to do when I stepped into the ring is ask the referee, do he, can he count to 10? I'll do the rest. And that's what I did. You know, I knocked out 40 guys, you know, and uh, I was considered the hardest punch in the division. And I just hit him on the chin and we all go home. I think I was born with the punch because as I moved up in weight, I always kept my punch with me. The skinny guys have the leverage. They get that leverage and they'll get you on the end of them punch, the game is over. Bobby Foster, you know, he was tall, rangy, but he had that leverage. And if he gets you on the end of those punches, the game is over. Uh, training dad would come to the gym, uh, loosen up and ring five rounds, stretch, get all the muscles loosened up, you know, stretch and, and prepare myself for like 10 rounds in the bag and box probably about seven, eight rounds. And I, cause I was a 15 round fighter, mm -hmm. yes. you know, so I had to make sure that I was, uh, my skills were perfected. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know, listen, you can get hurt in the first round, second round, third round. I like 15 rounds. That's how I was brought up. Mm -hmm. 15 rounds, I go all day. I didn't do a ton of sparring, you know, if I would the box, I'd, uh, one day I boxed 10 rounds. The next day and the next day I wouldn't box, you know, because I had to get that strength back in my body. You know, take two days off from boxing, but I would still come to the gym and loosen up, stretch, do the things that made me become a champion. You know, so I just kept it going like that. Well, it could be tough and intense, but you got to realize one thing. The gloves are bigger. You have a headgear, you know, so you're not going to get hurt in sparring. You'll probably get knocked out, but it won't hurt. You go to sleep, you wake up, you got to ask what happened. You know, that's how that is. Boxing has given me a sense of who I am. You know, when I got into boxing, I knew that was my niche, you know, because I worked hard. You know, my father told me, you know, when I told him I was going to be a boxer, he said, man, it's, you can become a boxer, but this, he gave me three basic rules. Hands up, chin down, and behind off the canvas, you'll be champion. And that's what I've done. Well, you know, I always take my hat off to the guy that came before me, such in my division, Bob Foster. He was a great guy, you know, and we would see each other. We, 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 we tend to get a good relationship together. And so uh, he asked me one day, if we had fought, what would have happened? And I just told him, I'd have knocked you out. Oh. You know, but that's how, listen, if I, I can't go in there and tell you, well, I don't know. Uh, I think you would have did this. No, 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 no. I want a referee that can count to 10. I'll do the rest. Mm -hmm. yeah. My life is good. I still have my faculty. 
you know, I'm, I mean, I'm cool. I, I enjoyed my career. And if I had it to do all over again, I'd do the same thing. You know, I had a great time. I met great people. I've been I've flown around the world a few times, met people from all over the world, and still remain friends with them to this day. You know, because, I mean, you can go outside and go to the candy store and get mugged. And then when you and a guy go toe to toe, that's boxing. You know, that's an even harder fight. <laughs> boxing has done a, a tremendous thing for me. Opened doors, met great people, kings, queens, presidents. I've, I've met them all. I've been blessed. So I, I love boxing. Great, because I see a couple of my a couple of guys that I fought in the audience. You know, I went over there and shake hands with them, hugged them. You know, and they would tell me that it was a pleasure gracing the ring with me. I said, Well, I can't say it was a pleasure because I'm still aching. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So, but it was cool. Life has been great, man. Life has been great. You didn't know I was that funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs>